Welcome to the Jamodi Podcast, where we interview coaches and leaders to find out not just what they do, but how they do what they do. Becoming the best version of ourselves is Jamodi, just a matter of doing it. What are the non-negotiables in your program or the standards that you've set? Well, I mean, from a basketball standpoint, uh, you got to defend, you know, if we have guys, doesn't matter how good they are on offense, um, if they're if they're not willing to play uh, defense to 100% of their max, then, um, you know, we're not going to play them. And uh, just that and, 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 and practicing hard and, and, you know, being on time, um, going to class, um, you know, handling yourself in the right way. We don't tolerate people cussing. Uh, we have a policy if somebody cusses, uh, they got to do five push-ups, and that includes the coaches as well. So, nice. So I, I've, I've had to do some push-ups you know, <laughs> from time to time. But, um, yeah, I mean, we just, you know, try to keep everybody accountable. And, and I mean, and that's how you have a team. You know, you can't have a team if you are letting, you know, certain guys – rolling late or certain guys, you know, not put out and still get to play. So we try to be consistent with our standards, you know, our non-negotiables and, um, and, the, and, you know, demanding on the effort. Mm. One thing um, you mentioned early on about the guys having to defend. And so I've had conversations with coaches before about, what are college coaches looking for when they recruit? And I've told players before, you know, that you need to have the ability to shoot. You need to have the ability to score. And so you're watching a player and you see this scoring ability that they have, but maybe you don't see the same draw or energy on the defensive end. Do you shy away from that player? Or do you believe that bring them on, especially with the offensive output they have, and we can teach them to defend, get them to defend. How are you kind of thinking on that in that realm? That is a great question. <laughs> and that, that comes up all the time. But, yeah, I mean, do we think that we can get them to play good defense? Because there are a lot of guys out there that maybe just aren't good on defense because their high school coach didn't demand it. Right. And – I think one thing we look at is, is, you know, what kind of a motor does a guy have? You know, I mean, if he's a guy that, um, you know, doesn't play hard, maybe on, you know, both ends of the floor or, or, you know, not running up and down a court hard or, you know, things like that, then, you know, maybe those things are harder to change. If it's just more of a defensive fundamental thing, Right, and we think we can correct. Then, yeah, I mean, and and you know, you have to have some guys that can score. So, yeah, I mean, a little bit. We're going to recruit guys that can put the ball in a bucket and know that that we can get them better on defense. I, that that's huge, though. I think if a if a player hears this, or or even a coach like me, that I may tend to focus on the offensive side a little bit more myself. But like you said, if if their motor is high, meaning they are giving, trying to give, attempting to give their very, very best, but they might just be defensively out of position, making the wrong choices uh, you know, with their body or whatnot. But you can, you know, as, for, as a college coach, you can see around that and see, okay, within how hard he goes, we can make it work uh, for what we do. And so that's what we try to do. Um, and then also two factors into it, you know, does the player have the athletic ability to be a good defensive player? Sometimes maybe if they're slow, whatever, you know, not athletic. I mean, you know, how good of a defensive player can we get that person to be? And, and we, you know, and we have, I mean, just looking at our team, what we've assembled, assembled so far, we have some nice offensive players and we played in a little, uh, uh, summer deal down in Tyler. They had a JUCO uh, event down there, and we brought our guys in and met there. And we we played pretty well offensively for just bringing everybody together, but defensively we weren't very good. We saw we had some guys that are going to have trouble maybe containing the ball, but we had no practices or anything like that. So 
Uh, and that's going to be a challenge of ours this year is to get those guys up to speed on defense and, uh, you know, get them better. Thank you for checking out today's episode. Please take a moment to subscribe to this podcast, share it with your fellow coaches, and find us on social media for what's coming up next on the Jamoti Podcast. It's just a matter of doing it.